here's what I do, okay? For starters, this model is very small. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press A, right click, clear up all parents. I do this because I tend to want to have a clean slate. Cause if you didn't notice when you click on this, it says this is like fucking zero. Meanwhile, this is like, uh, I think 90 and 0 0.10. Yeah, so just like resize it to one and that you're gonna want to like uh, apply later. So I'm just gonna like do this. That's basically everything. Rotate it to 90. Pretty sure that's 90. Yep. Usually see it right there. And I did this for Splatoon, but I don't think you need to do this for for the other things. So I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna do. Oh man, are you fucking kidding me? Let me let me see what. I, okay, da, da, da. Yep. There they are. I'm just gonna delete those. I'm gonna apply all of this. So just like all transforms. Transforms. This is a pain because you can't really select all of them and then like do that. Uh, the, the shortcut for this is control A and just all transforms. That's usually what you do. So uh, everything has been done. Now we could start with the modifying of the bones. So I go over here, uh, like bone data, I think. I go to viewport display and I make it so that it's in front. Make sure that you got the root bone somewhere secure because if you don't. Uh, so why is that? Okay, so that's another thing. I don't even know why that's connected to that. What is it connected to? Relation? No, this should be the... This should not even be connected to anything. Why is, that? Why is it connected? That's weird. What's that? The, 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 what is that? This is WVF, uh, WFBX or whatever the fuck I, I don't even remember what it's called. So I'm just, I'm just trying to like hide this. What is it connected to? Okay, well, I'm going to do this. Uh huh. Okay, that's weird. That's weird. That's really weird. All right, I'm just gonna like. Okay, there you go. So no, don't be connected to that. That is the. This is essentially what is the the pelvis of the thing, so that it's like rooted to this essentially. I think I did a mistake already. Let me just like connect it to the root bone. That's correct. It just can't be connected because if you do that, then it's just gonna like it's it's gonna do the thing. It's really it's really dumb. All right, just gonna make sure. I'm just gonna make sure that it's like that, so that's like flat and not like you know. So here's what you need to know. Click on this. You click on any bone that says like R or L, whichever one. I usually personally start with R. Hit Shift G, and then click on suffix. What that'll do is it'll grab all the bones on, on one side and that way you don't need to do double the work. You just need to do like one side. What I usually tend to do is I set up the bones the way that they're supposed to be facing. So for example, this is arm two. You're going to need that. This is elbow. You're not going to need that. This is wrist assist. You're not going to need that. You will. You need to keep it, but these are going to get in the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the elbow. And I'm just gonna like turn it the other way and for this I'm gonna hide it I'm gonna hide this and all you need is arm one arm two and wrist L so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do make sure that it's like aligned properly this is like the the finger yeah so I'm just gonna like align all of these bones properly I'm not gonna do this because well you don't need to know that I mean you do need to know that but like uh it doesn't matter. You're going to rotate these at like anyways. So it's up to you whether you want to do that. So I'm just going to make sure that these are level with each other. So for example, this one's like, what's this? What's this moving? Um, That's why. Okay. So this and this, there you go. So it's like level with each other. This is the bone data. You're going to, you're going to need to focus on that. Um, What's this? You try to make sure that all of the bones are kind of connected. I say kind of because well, I don't know. It, it, it tends to it tends to work that way. Uh, grab this, do the same thing. Make sure that they're connected, kind of. And what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to like bump this up a bit, not too much, not too little, because what ends up happening, what you did before, I think, was that if it's like if it's like this, oh my god, if it's like this, what that tells the program is that you are bending it this way. So for example, if you have it like that, 
what's gonna mm -hmm. happen is that the rest of the the armature is gonna bend the other way and you don't want that you want it to bend the way the uh, arm bends essentially this is what this is what a setup ik rig kind of looks like this these are the these bones are gonna soon become useless because you won't be able to pose with them you'll be able to use the ik rig you're gonna be using the drivers but these bones will just essentially become uh unusable when you apply the ik rig so what you're gonna need to do you're gonna grab the art the, the hand bone the wrist wrist l uh duplicate it shift d make sure that when you move it just like you know press right click you're gonna want it to be that way um then you rename it rename it to hand ik l and then parent this to the root bone the reason why you want to parent to the root bone and not to the arm is because that creates a conflict a conflict between between ik rigs armatures all that kind of thing you don't want you don't want it to be parented to the body itself you want it to be parented to anything but the body anything that you can control outside of the body so you could you could have it unparented it's just that the problem usually comes that uh what happens is that you move this and then the the ik rig stays where it is and you kind of don't you kind of want to move everything so you yeah put it to the root bone next up is the elbow uh, driver the elbow driver allows you to control the elbow uh here's what it kind of looks like make sure that this isn't connected make sure this is to the root bone i'm gonna call it elbow ik l and then i'm going to move it a bit back i haven't done this in a bit so i'm kind of rusty and that's the setup you've set it up Right now, these bones do nothing, but they will soon eventually do something. So, here's where the weird part comes in. You go into pose mode. You grab the lower arm, arm 2L, go to bone constraints. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to click on the inverse kinematics thing, right? Target is going to be the armature. Pull target is also gonna be the armature. So from here, the first thing you gotta do, target, is just hand IKL. And then the pole is going to be elbow IKL. That happened. You just make sure that the chain length is set to two. If it isn't, if for any reason the arm is angled at a weird, like, like it's like this, for instance, it's probably because either the rotation, like the, 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 the data of the arm is a little bit wonky or that model is just has a quirk. Most of the time, all you need to do is just put like, pull angle 90 or pull angle 180 but for this instance you don't need to do that because it seems to be working just fine so just like that up to your point the, the point where you're at you've created an ik rig it may not look like much but this is pr pretty much it what you're gonna want to do so that you can have full control of the of the arm i mean the hand rotation is click on the the wrist l and apply a copy rotation uh, constraint. You do the same thing. You target the armature and you make sure that the that the, that the bone that you're mounting it to is like a hand IKL. And that's it. You've done it. That's an IK rig. You've done it. It doesn't look like it's moving because I just did not apply the rig to the, the thingy empty groups there you go um ta-da it's done and then you can control the the arm control uh everything and it's uh it's it's done it's pretty much done right now i'm gonna do the legs same process same same process you're gonna the toe just uh, this is the fingers basically you just like make it make sure that it's um Make sure that it's uh, level with everything. Same thing with this. Oh yeah, I don't know why these bones are here. These are like, these are like useless bones. I know what they do. I know that they like do something for the mouth, but it doesn't matter that much. Um, here's what we're gonna do. All right, here's the ankle. The ankle is the foot. It's your favorite thing of in the world. You're gonna connect that to as, as best as you can. Uh, these are bones that are in the way. Make sure you get rid of knee and the uh, ankle by pressing H. Reminder that you press H to hide things. Don't like delete them. You need them. And what is this? Leg assist? Hide as well. Press H. To un I forgot to mention to unhide bones, you press Alt H. 
and uh, that makes it so that they can kind of get out of your way for a bit. So here's how you do it. Um, this leg, you're gonna want to make sure that the end is connected to this as best as you can. Uh, sometimes there are a little bit of quirks that kind of happen. I don't know why, but like they just they just do. Usually, I'd be a lot more accurate by like looking at the head and the tail and just kind of like making sure that this is directly connected to that. But for what you're using it, I'm pretty sure that it'll be fine. So remember, bump it up a bit and voila. It's not even like that complicated. Uh, oop. And there you have it. There's the leg. And there you go. That's that's done. You're probably wondering, what about the other side? Like I said, normally I'd be fixing up all these bones before I do anything. But because we're not going to be doing that, if you're done with whatever modifications you're doing, you just select any any bone with the with the underscore L, Shift G, suffix, right click. And then symmetrize just like that you've congratulations you've made an ik rig it works completely there's nothing much to it it's like probably surface level stuff there you go you did you did it